documentary, we will be discussing a controversial topic that has existed for years now. This is progressive taxing. Do you know what progressive taxing is? If you do, that's good. If you don't, let me define it for you. A progressive tax is one that takes a larger percentage from the income of high income earners than it does from low income earners. Also, the tax rate increases as the amount being taxed increases. Progressive taxation has its critics. Opponents of progressive taxing argue that it violates the basic principle that all people are created equal under the law, since it treats the wealthy and the poor differently. It is also not fair to the rich because, with the progressive tax system, they supply 60% of the tax base of a country and they do not receive other benefits. Also, progressive taxes create a negative incentive to win more. People will not want to earn more money if they're going to be punished for it since they can get taxed up to 35% of their income. Finally, progressive taxing motivates the wealthy to find loopholes, shelter income, pay politicians for tax breaks, and other types of tax avoidances. It, 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 it has, like most things, both good and bad features. That is to say, in, in some extent, um, it, it's fair in the sense that those who earn more pay more. And that's sort of always been a philosophy of the United States. Uh, those who can, do. On the other hand, though, because the tax rates at the upper end are fairly high in the 30% area, um, it also encourages a lot of tax avoidance behavior and, and legal tax avoidance behavior. So a number of things have been written into the tax code to allow people in upper tax brackets to avoid a lot of taxes and therefore shift the tax burden back to the poor. So there's so there's both sides to that story of those uh, tax avoidance things that are legally written into the tax code. So, you know, for example, let's say a 20% flat rate tax with no exemptions, deductions, or exclusions. Uh, it was calculated that it would, that it would actually increase the tax revenue to the government, but decrease the average the tax idea code that the uh, the people are treated unequally is inherent in the tax code. And, um, I mean, there is a, a zero bracket amount. There's a there's an amount below which you don't pay any tax. You, don't, you only earn this amount. You don't pay any tax at all. That sort of thing. So it, it's inherent in the tax system to treat people differently. The last question will be. I think if you just look at it from a, say, 
economic freedom sense um, and, and less incentives to, to, to alter my behavior, I would say yes, a flat tax is a good, flat tax is probably a good idea. Again, if you could implement, you know, eliminating all the tax avoidance things that have been written in the code, so no exemptions, no deductions, no exclusions. Maybe we started at, you know, pick some threshold amount, you know, that if you earn less than pick an amount, ten thousand dollars, you don't pay anything, but it, it starts at ten thousand uh, dollars and up, you pay a, a percentage. Um, you know, and eliminate all all the exemption. You know, if we could reduce the, the 1040 form to a note card, you know, how much did you earn? Send in 20% of that. Um, you know, might might work. Get it passed through the, through the Congress? I don't think so, but but it probably would it probably would work out. And on the end of efficiency for society, economic welfare. It would certainly be. It would certainly be more efficient in that there's just got to be significant dead weight loss um, involved. I think in principle, I like the idea. Um, I mean, simplify. Um, you know, I, you know, it's it's hard to tell for sure, but, but the studies I've looked at say it would actually increase revenue to the government to eliminate all the deductions, and and a 20% amount would, would lessen the tax burden to most individuals, not, not all, but most. And, uh, you know, it, it just it would decrease the inefficiency because there wouldn't be this tax avoidance behavior. We wouldn't be spending money on people filling out taxes. But on the other hand, think of all the, think of all the, you know, the, the difficulty of doing that. Think of all the, you know, H&R Block would go out of business. Yeah. You know, and that's, it's gonna be hard to do. I just did my taxes all right. Yeah, it's going to be hard to do. But I mean, that's inefficient. And that, in other words, that's a waste of resources. That, that, that's a non-productive use of, of resources to have someone fill out your tax form. And yet, it's it's required. I mean, uh, you know, I, I have a I have a CPA fill out mine, and I'm not a wealth you know I'm not a very wealthy person, you know. But uh, enough goes on in my life that I have to have some some. A skilled tax preparer to do it properly. So, uh, one, so I can not pay as you know, pay as little as possible, and two, so I don't get in trouble. You know, don't make a mistake. So, anyway, that, I, I think that's probably the case. I think it, it probably would be a good idea, but but practically, I don't see how it could be passed.